My next guest says we should all relax because these, what we think, insane teenage trends are just that. They're trends, and that these kids will eventually grow out of it if we just leave them alone. Freddie Greenberg is the editor-in-chief of Child Magazine, right? Yep. Yeah, and you know I was going to ask? I was going to ask some of these mothers, do you remember what it was like when you were growing up? Yeah, I told my mother last night, I know it's payback, because I did the bell <laughs> bottoms, I did the window pane, I cut my hair from all the way down here to real short, washed it with Tide to get a natural and dyed it red when I was 14. So I understand this is payback. Oh, yeah, this is but deep I'm payback. Over, I'm over it. And I'm an only child, and so is he. So I'm like, this is payback. Yeah. I was basically a very plain person. Um, I wasn't. I wasn't too much like my daughter at all. As a matter of fact, so you never had, had any conflicts with your parents about uh, where to go and 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 uh, now where to where to go sometimes curfews and clothes. You never had any kind of not much. No. Not much. You didn't. Perfect child. Perfect <laughs> child. That's <laughs> my parents. No. Uh, I guess probably the the closest controversy I ever had was my father in the in the short skirts. And when yeah. we were talking mini, we were talking. I really look back and think, how in the world did I not show a lot of my body that I probably shouldn't have been showing, but I'm sure I did. Yeah. It's probably payback time. I was dressed in bell bottoms, and I had real long hair, and my parents hated it. But being a third kid, I kind of slid through Somehow. a lot easier. Yes. Yes. Pa Somehow parents seem to have selective memory about this. Every generation has had <laughs> DAs um, for in the 50s and the 60s. God knows kids look crazier then than a lot of them do now. Um, and then we went to punk and to um, uh, the hip hop look. And it's just really a repeat. And it's really a question of independence. And it's about kids exploring and finding out who they are. And clothes is one way that they, um, that they do that. And I think parents need to decide, need to realize that if they're looking for some cookie cutter image of what their kid should be, they better give it up because the whole job of growing up is to become independent and to become different um, and to find out exactly who they are. So this was, this was a makeover for a day, really. I have a feeling that's yeah, how it's going to be. Do. She's going to go home and put this on the uh, kitchen table and use it as a uh, <laughs> tablecloth, she says, because it, you, can, right, you, can right. change, you can change the outside of a person, but it's what they're trying it's to express trying to from the inside. inside. Right, and that's what growing up is really all about. Um, it's finding out. My daughter told me the other day, you know, sometimes um, it's not only about um, independence, it's about exploration. And sometimes kids go very far in one direction or another before they can go back and find what really feels comfortable. And a lot of what we're seeing here um, is that sort of real extreme end. Um, and parents need to know that as long as a kid is doing well in school, has friends, is physically healthy, um, seems to be communicating with them, the clothes are really not something to worry about. Hi, YouTubers. I'm excited to give you an update about our own YouTube channel. Now you can find new videos every day. They're the kind of videos that will make you look at life differently. They may even make you laugh a little bit. Subscribe to the OWN channel today, and we'll see you on YouTube.